like my to today we're going to be making jalapeno popper pakore the first thing you want to do is wear gloves when handling the jalapenos we are going to cut them in half and de-seed them so we're going to slice it right down the middle make sure it goes all the way through and then the other side there we go and then kind of just pop out this inner seed and membrane and if you need to you can also use like a little spoon to just pour them out go and take out all the seeds now that we've halved all the jalapenos and de-seeded them we're going to set these aside and make the filling in this bowl i have one container of this borsin garlic and fine herb cheese and then i have about about two to three ounces of regular philadelphia cream cheese and then i'm going to use like about half the container of this or like a third of this container of chive whipped cream cheese so i'm just going to add all of that in here using a rubber spatula we're just going to mix all of this together so it's pretty well combined and then we're going to add some cheese now you can use cheddar cheese i'm going to be using this taco bell fire habanero cheese it has shredded monterey jack with jalapeno and habanero peppers if you want it less spicy definitely go with the cheddar cheese now once everything's mixed the cheese is mixed into the cream cheese mixture we're just going to take one of our jalapenos and then using a little mini tiny spoon we're just going to fill it all the way. You want to make sure there's a good amount, just like that. And then set it aside. Now for our topping, I have one tablespoon of butter here and I'm going to use um, a three tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs. So now for the crumb topping, I realized I didn't have any panko breadcrumbs. So I'm just using regular breadcrumbs. I have a fourth of a cup of that. I have about a tablespoon of Takis that I just crushed. I have one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and we have our butter. We're going to combine all of this together. Once we added the butter to uh, the mixture, we're just going to mix everything well so it's combined. So now this is how we're going to fill them. We're going to take one of our de-seeded and emptied out jalapenos. We're going to use our cream cheese filling and using a little mini spoon, fill it up. I like putting it all the way to the edge. There we go. And then you just take this dip it into that taki breadcrumb mixture and that's so beautiful if you want you can take it with your hands and kind of make sure everything is coated in that taki breadcrumb mixture how beautiful i'm going to continue and finish up the rest of these for the pakora batter i'm going to use the exact same recipe that's on my blog it's under i think easy and delicious pakora two ways um we're just going to use the same exact batter i had this random idea one day about how yummy it would be to dip a jalapeno popper in like pakora batter and deep fry and then i had this other idea where i wanted to kind of make a mozzarella stick but like a pakora battered mozzarella stick so we're gonna do that and then get to deep frying now that we have all our dry ingredients and our lesson adrek onion puree everything we're gonna add our water mix well after mixing the pakora batter, we poured it into this long cup just so it's easier to dip and fry. Now we're just going to dip the cheese sticks into the pakora batter. You don't coat the mozzarella stick with all of the pakora batter, then the cheese will kind of ooze out. And then we're just going to dip it right into the oil. We're just going to take our jalapeno popper dip it until it's all coated in the pakora batter make sure that the excess kind of drips off and then you just want to dip it in the hot oil and then you want to make sure that you keep turning them just so they don't just brown on one side and then once they're golden brown you can just use a spider strainer to remove onto a lined baking sheet that's lined with um, paper towels to catch any excess oil. And how delicious does that look? I hope you guys try it out. So I'm like, oh.